I got the visa. I don't know how I did it, but I did. I got it. <laughs> Welcome back again to my channel. It's Ifa's Corner, a Nigerian YouTuber, but I'm based in the US. Yep, and it's funny that I'm saying this because last year I was living in Nigeria, but now I'm living in another man's country. So it has really been a massive life update. I've had to go through a lot of things over. This past few months from November till now a lot of change I resigned from my old job in November and I got a job in a bank less than a month I got my visa to travel and now in a mass country so you can see like the different phases that I've had to go through like I left a job got another job then I had to resign again and then come to America like it's, it's it's been an exciting journey don't get me wrong but I'm somebody I don't like change like change is, is not for me <laughs> but then from November to now that's a very short time and to me the change was so much like there were some times I would just literally be wondering that why is this so much change happening in such a short time sorry such a it was a really short time very short time um that being said i'll let me go into my relocation story so like in, i never expected like <laughs> with all these things i've been like i've speechless because even me same i don't know how my relocation came about but i'm just here and, and i'm like <laughs> so i came here I came to America for schooling purposes and yeah I don't want to give it like a backstory of how I got here so I started the process in August and I was still working then I didn't even think like I've heard different visa stories that like, people don't get visas visas are being denied blah 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 so I didn't really put my mind on getting the visa like I was like if it happens fine if it doesn't happen fine like there's nothing I can do about it and then I went on leave in my previous job and I was chilling. I had a two weeks leave and your girl was chilling, like I was not bothered with life. And then all of a sudden I got another job in a bank, like I was like, oh my goodness, like wow, like the pay was very okay and I was excited to move so I had to resign my old job and uh, resuming my bank job now. So I resumed uh, in the bank in Nigeria around November, still that same November. I went on leave November, I got a new job in that same November. So I started working from November up until December. So up until December, mid-December, I my travel plans started falling into place. I got a visa date. And I was like, oh my goodness, like things like became really fast from then onwards. Like I was like, is this actually happening? I got an embassy date. As usual now, me, I'm very like, if it happens fine, it does not happen fine, I'm not gonna kill myself. So I went to the embassy in Abuja and I got the visa. I don't know how I did it. But I did, I got it. And I'm like, okay, so your girl is gonna be traveling. So, I think I walked up until December 31st. Yeah, but in January, I couldn't go to work anymore because the preparation for traveling became so intense and I was being so overwhelmed and walked up. So I had to resign from my bank job. And imagine you're working somewhere and then your dream job came and you have to let it go like <laughs> man life is hard so I left Nigeria January 7th and yeah so that my Nigeria like the trip serves another story which I'm going to say I left Muritala Mohammed Airport like I was ginger I was the 
girl was happy and then I had I followed um, Kenya Airways so normally when you, you fly with another um, an airline that is not direct they stop in their home country before they go to get to the destination country I, I, I hope that makes sense so uh, I'm supposed to leave Nigeria and get to Kenya and then from Kenya move to um, New York and then when I got to Kenya I couldn't board to New York I know right I was like eh eh I, I resigned though from my old job but please you would not do this like at that point I was like devastated okay the reason being my COVID my second COVID job was not up to 14 days AstraZinga I think that's the the name of the covid vaccine i took in nigeria i can't remember and nigerian the airline in nigeria the kenya airlines like their representatives in nigeria didn't tell me i was supposed to stay 14 days before i travel the day i travel was my eighth day so getting to kenya they were like oh i'm so, I'm so sorry mom you can't travel and i'm like why can't i travel and then they started explaining everything and i was so pissed so annoyed so I had to stay in Kenya for another six days. Can imagine after I was so excited that oh I'm going to America, blah blah blah. And then I got to Kenya and they say I cannot travel. Ew. Somebody will say it's village people. <laughs> well, it could be then I stayed in Kenya for six days. Kenya is is finer than Nigeria, that's what I know. It's way finer and yeah it's just a slight difference there's light in kenya so i just took advantage of the opportunity as okay this is me being another man's country let me just enjoy myself instead of just focusing on the bad aspect of my journey so i visited a few places in kenya yeah but i couldn't go to the national park but it's cool and then on the sixth day i boarded another flight to new york and that's how your girl found herself in another man's country <laughs> so from new york i had a connecting flight to um, nashville and from nashville i finally got here to texas so uh that's just really all that happened from november till now so yeah that's all about that. That's my little relocation story. It sounded small, but my dear, it wasn't small. There are a lot of emotional, emotional roller coasters along the road, along the line. But yeah, thank God that we're here now. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, guys. That's that's that about that, guys. Please like, share, comment, subscribe again. Tell a friend, tell a friend, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.